So I'm here with Mason De La Cruz. He's a member of the Cowles County Black Bears, also a member of the uh, Washington State Cougars baseball team. So Mason, right off the bat, you know, Washington State, it's a Pac-12 school, so obviously you have some uh, tough competition. But, you know, through this year, what has been uh, the biggest competition or the, the best team that you got to see and, and play against this year? Uh, the best team I got to see was for sure Oregon State. You know, they're, they're a pretty good team all around, hitting, fielding, pitching was really something to, you know, see something that they're going to be at the College World Series, you know, it's, you don't get to see that a lot, so it's, it's pretty fun playing them. Yeah, and so, you know, also kind of looking at Washington State, you know, it's not the biggest baseball school, it's kind of a, well, it's cold over there during the wintertime, yeah, but exactly. what about Washington State kind of uh, pulled you that way and kind of made you interested in going there? You know, I, did, I love the environment, at Pullman, small city, small college town, and uh, the coaches, you know, it seems like they're really putting the, the team in the right direction, so just sold me. Awesome. And then, uh, you know, going from high school to college, you know, there's a big transition there. You have um, not only academics wise, but also baseball, just it's a different game. What has it been like for that transition and, and what are things you've had to work on? Uh, it's been tough. You know, I've been trying to just work on everything fielding wise. Balls are getting hit harder to me uh, and especially hitting, you know, pitchers a lot better. They have better stuff. They're, sp they're spotting up, throwing a little harder, but that's, that's about it. And then, you know, here you are with the Black Bears for the summer. What is something you're focusing on and trying to improve upon uh, specifically for this summer? Uh, there's nothing really specifically. You know, I'm just trying to work on everything, work out on my game, you know, base running, fielding, hitting, just try to perfect my craft. Okay. And, you know, in order to, get as, to be as best you can, um, there's always someone who's pushing you, someone behind you, kind of inspiring you. Who in your life has been that kind of that motivator and that inspiration for you? Uh, it's probably been my dad and brother. You know, uh, my brother did play college baseball at uh, Bellevue, and as well as my dad. My dad played at Oregon State. Um, he did get drafted, but uh, I definitely play for my family. You know, mm -hmm. just uh, they're the, they're my motivators for sure. And then you know, kind of looking through your career. I mean, obviously you're playing college, play a lot of summer ball. What has been the uh, the most memorable part of your baseball ex experience so far? Uh, had to be my first start at Washington State. You know, it was pretty exciting. Uh, Justin Hare actually got hurt, so I stepped in for him, and, uh, you know, it was, it was an eye-opener, you know. Things have really changed. The game's a lot different. I mean, it's not too different. It's just the pace of the game's a little, a little quicker, but, uh, yeah, that's probably it. And then, you know, for baseball, baseball's a game of routines. You know, you do the same thing every day, but also a little bit of superstition. Is there any kind of routine or superstition that you have that you go through for every game or every practice? Uh, I'm not the most superstitious guy. I'd say, you know, just never step on the line. Uh, that, that's about it, honestly. That's all I do. Awesome. Last question I have for you is, you know, you're out here, you know, at the Black Bears, a lot of kids watch the games, WSU kids come out and watch the games as well. What advice do you have for the uh, the younger generation as they start moving forward and want to play at the level you're playing at? Yeah, you know, just, just work, you know, everything. Uh, when you're working, some people aren't, and when you aren't working, other people are working. So, you know, just take your time, you know, just work on, work on your craft and uh, perfect it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much.